good morning. Right, we're on the return journey. Lovely sunny day again. This is Beast and Iron Lock. I can only assume that the, the ground is unstable and that's why it was made out of iron sheets, but the notice up there tells us quite clearly, although it's a double lock, one boat at a time, because the, the iron sides have um, warped apparently and you're in danger of getting wedged. And we don't want to do that. Just saying we don't want to get wedged. Good morning. Beautiful morning. On that hill over there, we 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 moored just on past that bridge. There was the most amazing sight, wasn't there? We went out just as the sun was setting, and silhouetted on right on top of the hill were deer, and all you could see was their antlers. It was just like Christmas. So it was just like Christmas. Something to add. Ethel had her first swim last night in the dark. Which side are you going, Mrs? It, it was not intentional. We took a, we have got a very powerful torch. We took her for a run along the canal tow path last night. And she just stumbled and went dead first into the canal. She was swimming quite a, a rate of knots under the circumstances with her head under the water. But never mind, I'm pretty sure she'll do it again. At least we know she can swim. That's the first lock of the day done. Tom's walking on to the next one. This is just around the corner. it does, so I'll put the camera down. Ah, that one. This is the lock where somebody hit his head on yesterday, but looking through the gap you can see right up because there's a massive tree on our right hand side. And she was coming round the tree but ended up on our side. That needs cutting. No damage done. I have to say that we're not a fan of these double locks. There's only two of you. Uh, we've only got the Bunbury. Bunbury staircase lock to get through. It'd be nice if there was somebody coming down. Give us a hand. It's a lovely day, beautiful day. Right, we passed the Anglo Welsh Hire Fleet, taking up most of the canal. We're in the bottom chamber of the staircase up at Bunbury. This is our last. Oops. Double lock of the trip. Yeah, that would stick to single locks from now on. Yeah, we we could be here a while. Tom's got to fill that lock. 
I empty it into this one. Just look as though it might be half full at least. Yeah, that's we're going to have a sit down. Right, we've nearly finished the flight at Bunbury. Flight, two locks, but bloody heavy. These beautiful old buildings. I assume it's where they kept the horses at some point. So they've got stable doors on. Which is always better than having unstable doors. I always find. So no more double locks now. Uh, we won't come down this way again unless we've got helpers. Because it's just too hard. So off to Barbridge and then we'll probably stop for lunch. So much more peaceful at this end. An outside factory cheese shop. Oh they sell cheese there. Plenty of cheese. Uh, we're just coming up to, we're running parallel to the A51, which is just inside those houses. Uh, and we're going to pass the, I think we're going to pass the junction to the middle ridge, and then we're going to moor up and have some lunch and let Knobhead run around. That's the plan. Oh, lovely pampas grasses. in trouble. Tom has just announced that he's steering with his belly. Somebody explains oh. why we're about to mount the towpath. Uh, excuse me. People in fat suits should, should not throw Ooh. fat cakes. I don't know. What's he trying to say? <laughs> we're both fat. Ethel's not fat, are you? I've, I can't remember if you've already told the viewer, Ethel, that you fell in the canal last night in the dark. Without your harness on and your big grabby handle. But you can swim. So you're not having any water Get wings. Get down. Get down. You're Get not down. having water wings for Christmas. Eh? You did really well, didn't you? You just were swimming away from the side of the canal. Which meant it was very difficult to retrieve you. But Tom managed to grab hold of your face. I mean, I, we always knew that big floppy lips would come in handy for something. Didn't we? No, it was the colour that I did kind of use the face. Oh, she's tied up. What can I do? No, she's all right. Yeah, let's have another dog, he said. Hmm. What? I'm just saying, you said, let's have another dog. Yeah, we need more crazy, though, right? Our little Jack, bless his little cotton socks, was not an ounce of trouble. No, he was boring, wasn't he? He wasn't boring, he was a good boy. Oh, I'm going. Right, lunch at the bar bridge, but not at the bar bridge, because we have food on the boat. Ethel's just had a mad ten minutes on the towpath. I can't believe it's nearly October. I'll see you later.